Let's see what it is. It is a, it looked like a weedy, one cent. Let's see if we get a year off it. I'll take it. Look at that nice green patina. Okay, we're on the board. Board. He got himself a skeleton key. Most of it. Messing the teeth, but that's fine. But that's all right. You, you never know. Nice brass. Yeah. I love it. History, baby. So, you know, in 1800s, they're sitting there opening that. Some door at the canal house. Yep, there you go. That place. Awesome, awesome. Well, this is what happens when uh, research meets uh, preparation meets execution. Yes, sir. Awesome, man. Awesome. Great research, brother. Awesome treasure. Yes, sir. All right, guys. So I got something in here, but I don't know what. Could be nothing. Could be something. Get back to you. We just got him a penny. No, it's a v nickel. Oh, it's a v nickel. Nice. I just saw that green. Oh, yeah, it's it's a good condition, too. Yeah, you're going to get a good date. Let's hope for something old. Nineteen eleven, maybe? Let's do this. I barely picked that up, too. Yeah, that's a tough read. You have to brush that. Looks like 1921. Did they make them? No. No, so it has to be 1911. Beautiful. Let me try this. Different angle. Scangle. Nice, man. So we both got old coins. What'd you get? I got uh, 38. Um, uh, Sweetie. Sweetie. But now I'm coming over here. <laughs> Go very slow. Yeah, that's what I was doing over there. Uh, this is gravel. Like here, here to the house is gravel. Over oh, where? Like oh, okay. The house is gravel. Okay. Old liquor bottle in there. I don't think it's that old though. Pretty cool. Wonder what's under there. I'm not going under there ever because it's caving in. All right, get back to you guys. Good job, brother. All right, guys. Been digging down here. Looking, looks modern to me, like maybe a modern dime. But look how deep that is. Well, let's see. Modern penny. Look how deep a modern penny was. Just a modern penny. But look how deep it was. But, I mean, not that that's incredibly deep, but still. What's that handle? What? Handle. What handle? The one I threw you. Oh, dude, I threw it away. Where's it at? It's in my bag. Give me a What? Sky. Two piece eagle shield. Beautiful. Where'd that ring in at? 15. I think still has a shirt and we brush it off for you. Nice job. Are you still on the side or where are you at? Yeah, I'm still beside the little house. I just can't take I mean that's the difference between you and I is always gonna be. I can't stand just sitting there in one spot. Yeah, that's where it's at. Oh well, I know, I mean yeah, <laughs> and like look dude, I I know, did you see that? Yeah, this house is. Yeah. I bet you this one's all front door. Yeah. Oh man, coming up nice. So what? Yeah, that's definitely Civil War, dude. Guys, we are having a great day. I'm pretty sure it says Scoob on the back. The fines are slow because of what JR and I are talking about. But I'm having fun because you guys know I'm the adventurer. Oh. Crush. <laughs> 
and he's the one that's seriously into you know getting the job done yes it's the scoville scoville yes. civil war look at that guys <coughs> excuse me so i guess we're gonna dig the not deep stuff too oh yeah that was in the fill there has to be other stuff in the fill oh yeah nice job all right, man. I'll see you later. What? Come on. You come on. I'm the button king. I went from the coin king to the button king. That's all right. We'll take you. Yeah. I'm going. All right, brother. I bounce back. So over here, this is part of your Pennsylvania Canal. This is what's left in this section. I don't know if this, yeah. And I don't know if you guys can see way over here, but there are bottles thrown everywhere in here. I don't know. I might have to go down, guys. I just might have to. Ah, it's calling me. All right, I gotta go. I wanna show you something. I'm just back here hiking around a little bit. JR still like he's literally not for all you guys learning and watching our videos there's definitely two different ways uh that people hunt and he hunts the right way especially if you have a machine like this mine lab uh you will go be able to go through iron trash and that's exactly what he's doing and he's getting nice finds and there is and that's how you should be I myself am not into metal detecting strictly for the fines. For me, it's more about health and getting out there. And now with JR, you know, it's just hanging out with a good buddy now too. So I wanted to show you this. Okay, here's part of the canal. Yeah, obviously lots of trash in there. And you know, there's a crown pop bottle. So you're looking at, you know, late eighties at the most trash wise. I see an old, see that? That's an old Maytag washer, I think. But anyways, yeah. So here, you can see the, the walls built in there. I'm not getting down in that crap. But wait a minute, guys, you're not gonna believe this. Do you see that? Do you see that? Surface fine nickel. Let me take a step back here. Looks newer. But yeah, nice. Another coin. But anyways, look guys, there's bottles buried in here. This actually looks... Ah, that's not old. So be. <laughs> but yeah. Seeing, look at this, guys. Those are two. But yeah, good old hard rake back here. You can have a good time. Yeah, look at all the crap I got going over the years. Ooh. Ooh. That's not true. Okay, guys, I'm going to go get the metal detector. I don't believe that's a tree. I think that's a post. All right, let's go get the detector over here. And let's go dig that post. All right, I'm going to cut for now and get back to you. 
Onward and upward. So JR just found probably a 50s or 60s, maybe older than that. I'm not sure when the Lone Ranger came out. 30s. I wonder if him and Melvin Purvis were good friends. <laughs> Look at that, guys. <laughs> Has the mask and everything on. Where's the imprint? Is that that? It's crushed. Oh. Uh -oh. I had to crush it. Yeah, boy. I wonder if the other pieces are in there. Holy. Look at the, all these nails. That's what we hey, got. Look, he's digging in nails. That's what we got to go through to get this stuff. I'll put it right here. Good job. Thank you. He gave me the layout. Uh, where the fill is okay. pretty much what we think it is already uh, everything except for the low ground all right guys we'll get back to you excellent job my friend yes, sir. see guys this is what i was saying he digs through that trash that's what this machine's for and it's not that i don't want to necessarily do it but i got into detecting to do a little more uh cardiovascular and I'm lazy, okay? I'll just be honest. I'm lazy. My attention. Yeah. <laughs> All right. It's we'll get back Bobby to you. It's a, top, it's a Bobby Dazzler. He ought to just cancel that show and give him a show, you know? I don't know. He's just bad. All right. We'll get back to you guys. Beautiful day. Pretty good in here. I don't know if I do or not, but we're going to find out. Well, we know it's not modern. Almost looks like a cage. Here. There's a hole. There's two holes. Now it rang low, well, like a 19. It has a someone wore it. So you're looking at a penny. Yeah, it has a number on it, 88. Huh? It has a number 88 on it. Oh, cow tag? Maybe it's a minor tag or something. Cow uh, tag, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, it was silver plated, whatever it was. I see a small 88 right in the middle. Or 28. Ah! I thought it was going to be a good coin. It was weird because it rang low. There's a little oh. 28. Yeah, look at that. The, you know what? I'm just saying, it could be an old uh, military. Because the World War One, they would have both sides. And then they would have um, a string through it. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I, I, being dead serious, I mean, that's kind of what it reminds me of right now. Yeah, I don't know. I've never seen anything like it. Two holes and a 28 in the middle. Let's take it out here in the light, guys. Let's give it the light of day. Some sort of tag, right, guys? Yeah, 2 8. Let's take a knee. So, are you twenty three ninety five twenty eight? Flip that over. I don't think that helps us out. See what it cleans up to. Look at that, guys. All right, we'll get back to you. Interesting finds. That was screwed down to something. It was screwed down to something. Screwed down to something? Yeah, it was screwed. See, if you look there, you can see the indent of the screw that went around it. Did you see that? So it's a tag of some sort. Yeah. It says R. I, I think it says R U up top. 
like R and then a U and then a 95. And then this is either 28 or 28. Huh. Yeah. Uh, You'll find out. I, you, you could be right. It could be a, a miners kind of thing. I don't know. Yeah, Very I don't neat. know. All right. We'll get back to you guys onward and upward. I just got that one out of the hole. But, you know, something, it just looks modern. Looks like a modern dime and that's what it is. From 2001, three inches down. All right, I'll take it. Get back to you. Never give up, never surrender. Always move onward and upward. JR just got something green. I think it's an Indian, I'm not sure. Oh yeah, yep. Engine. Where'd that hit at? It was like, it was jumpy because there's iron in there, but it was like 17, 18. What we got here in 18. I think it said 88, I Fuck. think. Shit, crazy all day. I think it's 1883, 88. Is it? Yeah, you'll get a date out of it. Good job. Sweet. Fist bump. Oh. So, JR is hitting. This is all. I mean, it is iron, iron, iron trash. And he's hitting it and finding shit. So, guys, I'm going to come down this way and see if I can find anything. 1893, that was a good year. It's a damn good year. We'll get back to you. JR's crushing it. Good job. All right. Same spot. And uh, I mean, wow, he's had a heck of a day already. Uh, shield nickel. I mean, uh, a, a V nickel, an Indian head penny, a weedy. Uh, so he's doing really good. I got a sweetie. That's it. But I'm going to start hitting this area here. And then what the owner told me is that this was where they would have the barges um, would be. It was like a retention pond that barges would stay in if it got, um, uh, I guess, the traffic was too much. So the other thing he told me is that there's actually a barge buried in here as well um i don't think i'm going down here today um unless i'm really not getting anything and then you know me i will turn this into an exploration video uh so anyways that's kind of what i'm looking at um i'm just gonna head down this little trail here and right in this little spot here to that tree and see if i can find anything and um up top there the ridge there that's part of a tow path so i'm gonna try to get in there as well we'll see what happens see what shakes out i'm just happy jr got some good stuff today um and i'm just happy to wake up and be out here and uh able to do this uh with and for you guys so enjoy i worked up with and i got a little knifey knife What's left of one. Nice little relic. All right, get back to you. Could have been some guy holding this as he went, uh, you know, was working on the canal. I think that's pretty cool. All right, get back to you. Up there, I think JR is up that way. I was that way with the last time I talked to you guys. Now I'm down by the river and uh got the machine sitting to the side i just wanted to see if i could maybe find some uh arrowheads see how far i could walk twice oh shit try to take me with it can i see anything i doubt we'll find anything but you know me I'm going to detect all this too. 
but I figured let's take a look right right some old glass a little thick glass Arrowhead. Yeah, it's funny. I don't even see any tracks in here for animals drinking down here. I don't know if that's good or bad. I don't see any tracks. Alright. Alright, so this looks like a good spot. This is a lot of the rocks actually from the canal. A lot of the stones. Oh yeah, this is going to be a good spot here, I think. I got some old brown glass, some amber glass. Ooh. You guys know what that is? Oyster shell. Bunch of them. Let's see what else? Bunch of oyster shells. Glass shards, oyster shells. Lots of glass shards. Now I'm starting to think this is uh this could be the hill they threw their stuff over. I don't know. There's some brick. What do you guys think? I think this is a spot that needs there's some more brick or pottery. There's pottery right here. And I think there's a pool tab. Oh, that's another little shell. If I didn't see all the glass, I would say that uh, these oyster shells, you know, might be just natural oysters. But considering they weren't down here, and they're only here where there's glass and pottery shards, I'm going to have to think that it was either, well, it had to be a place where they just threw their stuff over the hill. Like they did in most of these places. Yeah, look, look at that, guys. Just pottery shards laying. There's got to be. Got look at that, another pottery shard. Wow, pottery shards. Ooh, look at that pottery shard. Look at that design going out. Oh, this is definitely where they dumped. Oh my goodness. All right, guys, I think I need to go get my machine. More pottery shards. Look over here, some china. Some china, that's pretty. Damn, that's not even china, that's pottery. You gotta be kidding me. I'll keep that. I started keeping little pieces of uh, little shards from areas um, that I've been to. I just kind of like having them. Oh, wow. I bet there's all kinds of good stuff in here. We'll walk down a little more, guys. There's a big old liquor bottle. Look at that. That's old. You can tell by the bottom. spark plug and there's two a cup I want to keep that all right so we'll just look in all the oyster shells it's just right here more glass oh look at this guy oh, oh look at that no one's been back here for years. I could tell you that. Pieces of mason jar. Look at this old glass. Oh my goodness. Look at that. And you can see the end of it says Berg. So it was a Harrisburg. Look at this, guys. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Cork top medicine. You got to be kidding me. Holy sh... Here's a whole mason jar lid here's part of, of another look at the green patino or the green on that oh man i do believe 
We have found a dump. Look at that. That's glass. Melted. Oh my goodness. Some of you are probably going, hey, what's he getting all, you know, crazy about? But I dig bottles and dumps always have good stuff. Look, it's another cork top. So this is the stuff that's come out of the bank from erosion. So, you know, you gotta hope that the intact stuff is still in there too. Wow, wait till I tell JR. Yeah, look, look what the erosion is just doing here. It, and it's making like a little wash plant. Ho oh, ho. Oh. Very excited about this, guys. Very, very excited. Look, another. Might have been another cork top. I do believe that there's cork tops and stuff in this bank. I know it is because here's the results. So I want to go over here. Ugh. Look at some of this stuff. Stinks. I feel like I'm mudlarking. I guess that is what I'm doing, huh? Oh, there's an atlas. Yo! I'm down here, I found the dump. Yeah. What year? I don't know, I didn't clean it off yet. I'll come up. Hey. Yeah. Yo, you gotta listen to me now. Uh -huh. Cork top bottles. Hey, hold on, I'm getting closer. Cork top bottles, oysters, out the ass. It's all eroding off these banks. China, pottery. Where you at, right there? Are you gonna keep swinging up there? All right, then I'm coming up too. This is neat though, dude. Wow, guys. The day just keeps getting better. JR got silver, so I'm gonna cut out right now. We're gonna go up to see his silver. And then we're gonna go up there and detect a little, and then we're gonna come back down here before the day is over. Get back to you. All right, guys, JR got some silver. Let's see if we can find it. Don't point it. Let's see. Let's see. I don't see shit. Yeah, dude. Is that it? Can I? Yeah. If it's not a merc, yeah, it's a merc. It's a merc. Yeah, you you can, don't want that. You can rub them on. Yeah, you don't want that. I'll take it. 1941. That's a war year. A war year. War year. I, I, I think I'm just going to... Oh, it's a demon. Is it? Yeah. Nice. There you go, buddy. Fish me up. Woo. So, yeah, there's stuff in the fill. At least 40 silver. Oh, nice. Just laying. Nice. Now... They're not worth anything, but it's just the, the sheer fact that right. it's laying out there. Cool. All right, guys, I'm going to start. Yeah, I'll see you. Yeah, I'm going to start up in here with JR now. Um, I'm deep at all. It hard. And we'll just zigzag. And as the day wears on, uh, if the finds dry up, I'm heading down to the river. And, dude, that's going to be a great spot to fish, too. Yeah. The owner said I could come fishing. Well, JR too. We can come fishing. Fish you can see it when you drive 
on the highway. It's a big of U rocks. Yeah, yeah. Big U shaped rocks. And the Indians used to build them. Yeah. To hurt fish into, and then they go in there and catch them. I was just watching The Revenant last night. Oh yeah. And he he was doing that. He kind of reminds me of you, all hairy and shaggy. I'm not hairy at all. Well, look at Besides that. Besides my face, I have zero body hair. That's TMI, brother. Zero. TMI. No hair, no armpit hair, nothing. 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 He's a bald eagle. I'm like a powder <laughs> with a beard. <laughs> all right, brother, good find. Now I gotta get mine. Guys, I am having a ball today. A ball. Wow. And we, you know. Be a spill. Might be a spill. Has he got a friend? But well, let's hope it's not the curse of the live dig. That's probably a weedy. Was it 17? Most of my weedies pop at 17. Oh, no, it's up to 28. It's another piece of silver. All right, guys. Let's hope. Let's hope. Either that or JR is just smoking crack again. Full disclosure, he doesn't smoke crack. I smoke that good fat buttery fitties. Gonna the big city. Nah. Oh, something. It's nice and deep. That could be silver. S sinking down a little lower. If you pop it up and it pops wow. into my hand. Wow, wow, wow. Curse. See, so you got this. It's deeper than the murder. Yep. There you go, guys. No, this, man's, right this man's giving lessons for free. Mind Lab. You need to find Gary Drayton, a new partner, and here he is. I'd hate to lose him, but. I blew Gary out. Whoa, the challenge is set. <laughs> I find more than honor every day. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's a Bobby Dazzler piece of lead. <laughs> that's a spike trimming spike. <laughs> yeah, I think some of that shit he makes up as he goes. <laughs> I wouldn't know the difference. All right, guys, we're going to go back to it. We love it. And we love Gary Drake. He's actually kind of one of the guys we look up to a little bit because uh, he's keeping it real. Plus, he's keeping that whole TV show alive. Anyways, we'll get back to you. Beautiful day. So I'm going to go, you see these two cut logs, which I don't know if they're trees or if, because it kind of looks like they're not trees. Uh, so I'm gonna just go around there and then double back through the yard and if I don't get anything good I'm definitely heading back down to that creek or back down to the uh, river there. So I'll get back to you I think I'm going to go back down that hill. Did you find anything else? I found some cool stuff. That'll do a little catch up. Boy, you have your phone out. Yeah, man. Whew. Did find a weedy. Second weedy, nice. Sega fifties. All right. Um, you seen the button? Seen the key? Did you get two buttons? Or is that from somewhere else? I don't know what the hell that is. Maybe we can see what this is. See if anybody knows. That is one huge centerfire cartridge. It has a U on it. It's about as big as round as my pinky. Maybe bigger. <laughs> it's got a sinker, yeah. old lead sinker, it says one on it, and then 
my dime and another sinker and this brass piece. But other than that, it's been slowing down. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go down there and just fart around. What time is it? One thirty. I got about another hour and a half then I'm gonna head out. You can stay though. Yeah, I might I might get out and use the bathroom at the truck stop and then after you roll I'm gonna go up there maybe. Okay. Know. All right, we'll get back to you guys. We're just winding down the last little bit of time here. Great day. Just hit this spot here, and I walked over it earlier. I had some medallion of some sort, buddy. See the hole? Could be gold. That's way. I don't have my spray on me. I do. Yeah. Yes, I do. That sounded great. It sounded like a largey. Sweet. It's starting to look pretty good. That's got to be gold. It's got to be. Oh, look at that shining through. That's gold. Someone was wearing that. I think it's silver. It was ringing hot. Oh, yeah. Well, now I can see it changing colors. Oh, yeah. That's yeah, there's a little bit of tarnish on it. It might just be dirt. That that rang like 28-29. Sounds just like a large scent. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's sterling. It's cleaning up pretty nice. Oh yeah. That's for sure sterling. Look at that guys. Well yeah, I don't see anyone wearing that along their net. Uh I don't know. People back then used to wear different stuff. Big, bulky, gaudy stuff. It's going to be... So what do you think this is then? Because, I mean, there's rust on it. Or do you think that's just dirt? It, I don't know. That might just be dirt. Yeah, the more I rub it, the more silver it gets. Yeah. I don't know. I love it. I think it's great. It rang pretty high. It could be aluminum, but who knows? Well, either way, it's a nice find. It doesn't matter what the composition is. That's beautiful. Good job, brother. Yep. And guys, I've been walking all through here. <laughs> but not slowly. Get back to you. Very nice find. Now, let me see that real quick. Do you, uh, do you mind if I sit it here? Yeah. Contrast. I'm so recording. Can't find cat. It was a solid 30. It could be a modern quarter, but it does certainly look silver uh, from here. So we'll see. Ah, oh, it's a standing liberty. Nice. You got to be shitting me. 1925. Nice. Holy shit, dude. Oh, they come back. Wow. And don't make fun of me, guys. I've been on a silver. Here, buddy. Oh, I don't even want to hold it. Oh. I came over here. First swing, 30. Nice. Like, what can't be? Oh. You already got a standing. Oh, I got a standing. I got a 26. But. <laughs> Woo, guys, I've been paying my dues. Told you, silver's in here. So, you know, we were told this was hunted out before, and um, it's not. And I think what happened was the people that metal detected, metal detected out here. It's hard to get these on cool date. That's beautiful. Dude. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that was dropped. Well, uh, just a little bit of wear. 25. <laughs> I don't know. Can you believe that, dude? <laughs> I believe it. Woo! There's the water. No. Oh, yeah, my water. Wow. Ask me a couple more in here. Let's get them. You right, buddy. Hey, JR, look here a minute. Doesn't this look like this was a path of some sort? See how it flattens? It's way flat for just a hill. 
Because that's where I was heading. I was heading down here. Oh, man. Yeah, uh, keep your eye out for my hand digger. I lost it again. Again. Yeah. Is, that it? Is it an orange handle? This guy. <laughs> oh, guys, look at that. Look at that baby. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, wow. Okay, it's the end of my silver drought. I mean, I've been finding silver jewelry big time, but not coins. It's been a while since I, I think I found that 1853 uh, half time. I might have found a rosy after that. I don't know. But anyways, this is awesome. Let's take a little picture of it all cleaned up in the soil. All right, hold on. So, we have an 1800s Indian head penny. We have uh, 43 silver, 25 silver. Uh, we, have, we have the V nickel. And he has a couple Wheaties and I have a Wheatie. So, fantastic. Fantastic. Get back to you guys. Onward and upward. Just keep trying. Just never give up. I just, you know, I was getting skunked. Not really skunked because I got stuff. But I was getting a little disappointed and decided, hey. I'm going to head back down to where I saw all the other stuff. And, you know, I have this little, there's this little trail here. And now my thought is I'm just going to come up along this ridge of the hill and see if anyone else dropped anything going down the hill. We'll be back at this place for sure. For sure. All right, we'll get back to you guys. Thank you. Just uh, about a foot to the other side of that where I got that um, Standing Liberty. Oh, look at that, that's nice. Pennsylvania, Pen M, Pen M B. Oh, it's Pen, okay, yeah, Pennsylvania. Nice, now that's a pretty decent uh, key. I'm willing to bet that goes somewhere along with the canal. Maybe. Maybe not. That's really cool. Never seen, um, you know, like a state on there. And there's something above it, too. Hold on, guys. Something above it. That's a number. Okay. We'll get back to you. So there's some activity right here. So I'm gonna hang here for a minute. Beautiful day. Shaped like a weedy, looks like a weedy. Got that red in it. Really freaking Older memorial. weedy. Yeah, it's a memorial, I think. Well, that's what kind of what I'm, like a 50s, 40s, 50s. Uh, it's a wheat. Yeah. Yeah, it's a wheat. <laughs> 59 last year I think well if that's a 59 it's a memorial I think 58 oh, yeah yeah I don't know I thought I seen a oh I mean you know me I could be wrong well, I could be wrong too I'm not a penny expert yeah I see a memorial there is there yeah which is the first year of the <laughs> that series of the memorial series so it's not a loser. Oh, it's a loser. <laughs> he spiked it. No, he didn't. Dog fart. Guys, in true mud lurking fashion, I just found a spoon. It's copper. Who knows how old it is? It's a spoon. I don't get too excited about spoons. Yeah. So anyways, there we go. What's that? Still would like to find an arrowhead, but it's definitely not out of the question for this area because uh, there was a lot of Native Americans here. 
Let's see what else we can find in here. Without slipping in. Spoon was easy. That just stood out like a sore thumb. Oy, oy, oy. Did I see anything? If you do tell me, I'll come back and get it. Can't wait for uh, summer. I got a feeling we're going to be pulling a ton of stuff out of this area. <laughs> All right, guys, I will get back to you. I'm going to keep looking. If I see something, I'll let you know. All right, so I found another little thing on the surface doing some uh, mud larking, I guess. Part of a, a watch. Pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. That's neat. We'll take it, right, guys? Just keep seeing what we can find with our eyes. So we got a spoon, part of a watch, some really cool shards. We'll see what else we can find here before we leave for the day. This is definitely a cool spot. Without a doubt, coming back, doing some fishing, doing some more. We're going to sift in here, and we're going to... Uh, do some fishing and some drinking of beers So I will get back to you Nice All right, So I found another utensil You can see it there I do believe it's pewter No, it's iron. It's probably a tool. All right. Another little relic from the past. Get back to you. Another freaking relic. I am like stoked. I wish summer were here. So this is part of, I'm assuming there was a rail line in here. And there you go. Old railroad spike and exactly what it is that is way cool <laughs> see some other metal over there too <laughs> oh i love it this is this is my kind of stuff oh look at this this is really nice look at that all right i'll get back to you guys Hopefully with another really cool old relic. I put the machine down, the metal detector down, giving out a break, and I'm just going to keep poking around because this is pretty neat. All right, get back to you. This on. So, see if you guys can identify that. I found one earlier. It's an old knife or what's left of it. Actually... Might be it. Well, it's either a knife or it's some sort of tag thing. Could have something on it. I'm gonna have to look at that when I get home. Let's see anything else. <sighs> That's iron, whatever it is. Wow, look at that. All right, guys, if you see something, let me know. Get back to you. Having fun. Look at that. Beautiful. Couldn't have picked a better day, guys. Get back to you. Um, for me, turn into a different kind of hunt because I'm finding all kinds of stuff let's see if it's porcelain i'm pretty sure it is oh look has a little yeah it's porcelain guys <laughs> sweet 
So this whole hill is just packed with goodies. Packed. So this is gonna, dude, I think, hold on. I think that's a button too. It is, it is a button. <laughs> this is so crazy and jr has no idea what i'm finding down here but this isn't his cup of tea he's you know he's more into the into the hardcore coins and you know a little bit better relics and stuff you guys know me i'm low maintenance all right get back to you it's turning into a great day I, too bad i gotta leave soon all right get back to you all right guys uh this is the roundup and uh of course i got the big pile because it's not all cool stuff it's just a little bit of shitty stuff but stuff <laughs> nonetheless so let's go we'll start with jr's because so you got a big piece of melted lead too huh piece of lead. so jr got a 1958 perry county uh we think it's a dog tag got a lone ranger deputy and uh that's got to be from the 30s or 40s um some sinkers this big ass casing Center fire with a u in the center this it's i don't know yeah uh skeleton key old bullet this is awesome civil war button wait a minute Maybe it's the wetness. Let me just see. Yeah, something. I wetted a little bit to get the air okay. to out. I thought it had an eye on it. I was about to say, dude, but no, it was just how it looked. Um, some uh, two wheat. wheats. Yeah, go ahead. You do your shit. Man. Two wheats, a 30s and a 50s, uh, 1893, I believe, Indian. Um, some kind of tag. It says 23 on it. And. A piece of maybe Victorian era jewelry or something, something like that. Merc 41D flat button. Not sure what it says on it. Is that the one with the gold gilt? Yeah. Yeah, little, you can see it coming through. A little door knobby thingy off of something. It's kind of hoping for a goat man. But yeah. <laughs> if you guys remember, we had to, and here's a little cuff. Is that a cuff button? Might be a jean button. Something. Yeah. Song. Still. Yeah, it wasn't a bad day. A little bit of silver, a little bit of Indian, a little yeah. bit of coin. Oh, V nickel. Forgot about v nickel. What year was that? 1911, I think. It was a good year. Thanks. And we'll come over to my side. And uh, it's a combination of metal detecting and some mud larking. So uh, for metal detecting, I got one, one knife or a utensil for sure. Pretty sure it's just a big knife. This I think is a knife scale as well, but I'll take it home and clean it up. We got some mason jar lids from the river. Uh, we got the railroad spike and the pottery shards from the river, but look at some of these shards. Really, really nice stuff. That's why I saved them, just because of the color. Oh, I forgot. I got two, a Drake Bus and a Drake Bus Half Cent. Too. Oh, you forgot, huh? Yeah. You just forgot. <laughs> They're the ones that are in uh, shaking around your pocket. Yeah, I'm pocket tumbling these. So then we got... Uh, he's, there's his pocket tumble. Give me that shit. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's not even it. Wait, what's this? I don't know. I'm just, I want to see something. That's that counter stand, Major. I got that right across the street in that field. Nice. Look, look how he, he just takes over my finds because he knows I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna just do this. Bam! <laughs> End of story, good night, goodbye. No, that was nice because uh, I, it just was luck, random luck. This is lead, but it's very interesting. It doesn't seem like, it seems like it had a purpose. My thumb does fit it right there. I don't know. Uh, this, which says pen on it, this is old uh, key, uh, old bullet. Uh, we got the porcelain 
button. We got another old button with glass. We'll clean that up at home. A couple weedies, got some, or one weedy right there, the green one underneath the pen, uh, the quarter. And then the rest is just modern. I got a dime, a uh, nickel, and some pennies. And a piece of a music box, music read of some sort. Some schmutz. Uh, it's either a reflector, a rosette, or part of a clock or a watch. But I'm pretty sure it's more likely a reflector or a rosette. Part of a clock or a watch, probably a clock, and then a spoon. And that's pretty much it. Oh, and this old tool, whatever it was, a fork. So, all in all, man, that was a great hunt. All right, big man, your thoughts on today? His mind is empty. It's now been proven. <laughs> all right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video because we certainly enjoyed bringing it to you. Uh, remember to like and subscribe. Get them subscriptions up so we can keep bringing these to you. You know, we just do this to do it. So, uh, you know, help us out. Subscribe, like, comment. Um, and God bless you guys, all of you. Smell you later. Smell you later.